Hello everybody, Spellzy back again with another video. Now I think if you were to ask literally anyone that played RuneScape what they thought the most overpowered form of combat was in the entire game, I think everyone would tell you it was ranged. And you know what? I think they're right. I think ranged is the number one most overpowered thing in the entire game as far as combat comes and goes. So today what we're going to do is we're going to look into the most AFK method for you to train your range and we're going to look at some of the more cheap options so that you, even if you can't play 18 hours a day, you can still manage to max out your range combat and get to experience all of the better parts of the PvP and PvM in this game. So let's hop right into it. Now before we get too far into it, I do want to remind you guys that this is going to be an AFK method. Our goal for this video is to find a range training method that requires the least amount of input possible. Recently I just got 99 range by finding a way that I could stay logged in for 6 hours straight by only having to interact with my computer once every 15 or 20 minutes, and there were even times where I AFK'd for up to 30 minutes, 40 minutes without getting logged out. I want to share that with you guys today. I made a melee guide very similar to this a couple weeks ago and it got awesome reception, so I think that this is definitely do for a video. Now if you guys have watched my videos in the past, you probably know that I used to play a lot of RuneScape, but as we've gotten a little bit further on in the growth of my channel, I've kind of taken a break and stepped back from it. Honestly, it's not that fun of a game for me anymore, mainly because of how grindy it can be, and I'm sure that you guys share a very similar mindset, or at least have in the past. The unfortunate thing about RuneScape is that sometimes you just get blocked to doing all the fun content because you have a several hundred hour grind. Some of those grinds could be something that you have to put all of your attention in into, and a lot of times it's just not reasonable. Maybe you have a job that makes you work 14 hours. Maybe you have two kids, you know, maybe you're just busy with schoolwork, right? There are multiple different scenarios where a lot of people couldn't end up getting to the top of the combat ladder because it just takes so much time. And a lot of the fun parts of RuneScape are the raids, are the end game PvP, or the end game PvM. Now, I've played old school RuneScape since the beginning, since day one's release, and I did not max out my combat stats until literally this month. And you know how I did it. I did it while I was at work. I did it while I was working on my car and I did it fully AFK'd. There is a method that you can go ahead to train your combat stats completely AFK, interacting with the game once every 20 minutes, and you can do it from your phone without having to keep the app open. We're not even going to use the RuneScape app. We're going to use something completely different, and I'm really excited to share this with you guys today. Now that that's out of the way, let's dive into the finer points. Now, I know a lot of us know exactly how to AFK in RuneScape, right? Like, you can set yourself up in Nightmare Zone, and you can go ahead and pop an Overload Potion and last for five minutes and get some pretty good experience, and in many cases, it's the best experience in the game, right? Or or you could go ahead and you could just knock out a whole bunch of sand crabs, you know, maybe you have mithril knives or whatever, and usually people get pretty good experience off of that. It's relatively AFK, you only have to reset every 10 minutes, but that wasn't good enough for me. So guys, this is how you can get 99 range in about two weeks time from level 70 by only checking your phone every 20 minutes or so, AFKing the entire time, and I bet you you can do this for less than five mil. So here's our goal, guys. Our goal is to be able to survive for six hours straight. We don't wanna have to do any work. We just wanna be able to live for six hours and AFK for 20 minutes at a time before we stop auto attacking back. Now, if you guys aren't familiar with the way the AFK system works, if you are in combat, for over 20 minutes, your character will stop attacking back. However, if you are in combat for over five minutes and you stop being in combat for any length of time, you will automatically log out. So we wanna make sure we A, are never out of combat, and B, that we interact with the game once every 20 minutes, so that way we can get the most gains possible. Now, even if you don't interact with the game for 20 minutes, you can actually live for up to 40 minutes without getting logged out, as long as you don't die in the mini game. Granted, it's a safe mini game, so we don't really have to worry about that, but if for whatever reason your AFK session goes long, maybe you're talking to somebody or, you know, you're working on something and forget, you know, there is a little bit of gimme time, uh, so just look out for that and, you know, if you end up going 30 minutes one time, you're, you might lose a little bit of experience, but it's not the end of the world. Now, the range portion of this guide isn't necessarily as simple as the melee guide, but it's also not like impossibly different either. If you guys watched the last video, this is going to go through and just be pretty much the exact same stuff, except for one thing. Now, for range training, what we're going to be choosing from, and you can choose whatever you can afford, I personally used Elite Void Range. If you don't have that, you can always use our Medial. And if you don't have that, you can use either regular Void Range or you can use Dehide. 
Um, overall, that should give you decent enough defense, but in order for you to last every six hours, you are going to have to drop your hit points down every 20 minutes or so, or, or 15 minutes or whatever. Basically, just drop it back down whenever you check on your computer. Now, in order to drop down your hit points, all you need is either a rock cake or the locator orb. The locator orb is from Dragon Slayer 2. A lot of you might not have that. However, I did. And if you, you don't have to complete Dragon Slayer 2 to get it, but if you do get the locator orb, it hits you by 10. It does not kill you, and it's a one-click left-click in order for you to go ahead and take damage. It's a hundred times easier to use on mobile than the rock cake, but overall, it's not that bad. So now that we have the gear down, let's talk about weaponry. What you're going to want is you're going to want an upgraded magic shortbow. Now, you can get this by just buying a regular magic shortbow and then buying the magic shortbow upgrade scroll from the Grand Exchange. It's not going to run you too much money at all, and that's what we're using. I recommend that you get the magic shortbow upgraded, and I recommend that you go ahead and you get rune arrows. Now, you'll go through about 500 rune arrows every hour or so. Now, granted, I have the upgraded Avas from Vorkath. You might go through just a little bit more if you don't, but make sure that you wear your Avas accumulator or the Vorkath Avas that I can't remember for the life of me what it's called, um, but use those and then kind of judge how many arrows you need to buy based off of your XP per hour, because let's say you're getting 70,000 XP per hour um, and you're only using 500 arrows an hour, you can use that to figure out how many arrows you should buy. Now, for this video, guys, I had an imbued archer's ring. Uh, you'll see in the clip that I don't have the imbued archer's ring. I did use it, but I recorded this clip after 99 range because it was an afterthought. So make sure that you imbue your ring. Soup's got a great guide on how to farm points. You can get like two mil points an hour. It's pretty cool. But overall, make sure you're using either an anguish necklace. I'm poor, so I just used a fury. Um, you could either go ahead and, and get on some dragon hide boots or some snakeskin boots. I would recommend getting the dragon hide boots. And if you're really balling, you can go ahead and get the pegaijin boots, which are the green upgraded boots that are incredibly expensive. And then either wear the Vorkath's Ava's, like I said, or your Ava's accumulator. Pop on your magic short bow you and then either use Arma with Barrow's Gloves or Dehide with Barrow's Gloves or use Void Range. I like Elite Void Range because of the buff. Um, however, a lot of people don't have the hard diaries done. I happen to have gotten all of the quests and all the diaries done in the past, so AFKing for me was relatively easy, but I do understand that some people might not have that luxury, in which I would recommend either getting regular Void Range or popping out the Dehide. You're going to notice a little bit of a decrease in XP per hour, but at the same time, it's not really too bad, and you can always work towards getting uh, the hard Western Province Diary done, or you know, if you can play for a weekend. Remember, our goal is just to see how much experience we can get with the least amount of effort possible, because this is a time period where we wouldn't have been playing the game regardless. We're just trying to make some gains. So moving on into our gains, let's talk about the quests and the monsters that you're going to want to activate for this. You're going to want the Trap Soul, you're going to want Count Draenor, you're going to want the Sand Snake, you're going to want King Rold, and you're going to want the Kendall. Now the Kendall is from the Mountain Daughter quest, King Rold is from What Lies Below, the Sand Snake is from one of the Zaya quests that are Depths of Despair, Count Draenor is from Vampire Slayer, and Trap Soul is from the Ascent of Arceus. Do not get intimidated by the Zaya quests. They are very easy and very quick, and I would think that you could probably do them in about 20 minutes a piece. Doing them dramatically increases your ability to stay alive, and overall, you gotta do it. Now, normally what people would do is they would go ahead and they would start a Nightmare Zone and they would just do a customizable hard rumble and grab overloads, and they would just hop right in. We're not gonna do that. What we are gonna do, though, with those bosses, we are gonna go ahead and do a normal Nightmare Zone Rumble, and we're going to take, instead of overloads, I want you to take six Super Ranging Potions. Those Super Ranging Potions can be bought with Nightmare Zone points from the chest, and you can take them from the barrel, get six of them so you last six hours, and then go ahead and bring either one Rock Cake or your Locator Orb, something to damage you when inside of the minigame, and then fill the rest of your inventory up with Absorption Potions. You should have, I think, 21. When you have all of that and you're ready to go, go choose those bosses in the menu and hop right on in. Now that you're in, make sure you run straight to the middle. Go between those two little gray things. One looks like a piece of armor and one looks like uh, whatever that musical instrument is that you shake, 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 shake it. <laughs> one is wrong with me. All right, but go ahead and stand in between those two. Now what I want you to do is I want you to center your camera right now so that way it's facing north and walk one tile north and stand right here. That blood spot to the west of us is a spawn spot. You need to stand right here because like I was saying a little bit earlier, if you go out of combat 
at all, you're going to log out. You need to stay in combat as much as possible because after five minutes, if you're out of combat, you're going to log out. And we don't want to have to just waste money on starting up these things. You know, it's not free to start up the uh, to start up the nightmare zone. Some of you, it could be, you know, 22K to start it up. So make sure you're standing right here. This will give you the best possible chance to always stay in combat. Drop your hit points down to one and just remember to drop them down to one every time you return from AFK. My recommendation is to pot up every 15 minutes. If you go a little bit over, well, you know, okay, that happens. But try to pot up every 15 minutes, and that way one potion will last you a full hour. If you know for a fact that you won't be able to check every 15 minutes, then go ahead and maybe bring only 5 super ranging potions and then 22 absorbs. Um, but I was usually doing six, and I was lasting just a little over five and a half hours every time. Sometimes I'd even make it to six hours. The thing is, though, is that Void or Dragonhide is a little squishy, um, but we're doing normal bosses, and they don't hit nearly as hard as the other bosses, which means our absorption potions are going to last a lot longer, our health is down to one for a little bit, and overall, we're just going to be able to have an easier time. So now that we're here, you're probably thinking, okay, what if I want to go ahead, I want to leave my computer, I don't want to have to stand right here, what can I go ahead and do? Now, like I said in the last video, guys, I was spending a lot of time working on my car, right? Me being in the garage, I wanted to, of course, make my car drivable, but I also wanted to get my RuneScape gains. What I was doing is I was checking my phone every 15 minutes, and I was remotely controlling my computer from my phone. Here's the cool thing. You guys might not have known this, but you cannot AFK out if your client is open and you are in combat. So if you leave your RuneScape game on and you are in combat, even if that 20 minutes passes and you're not even attacking the, the NPC anymore, unless you leave combat for whatever reason or your client closes, you're going to be in combat the entire time. What this allows us to do by remotely accessing with my personal favorite app is um, Google Chrome's Chrome Remote Desktop. What you can do is you can access your computer by just having the app downloaded on your computer and on your phone, and you'll be able to just pull it up real quick. You'll be able to go ahead and repot, reabsorb, drop your health back down, and close out of the app. And that's all you have to do. Then after that's done, guys, that's pretty much it. You know, you can go ahead and, and take a break. You could say, see you later. You come back 15 minutes from now, 20 minutes from now, whatever. And you're going to get probably in the ballpark of 70,000 XP an hour. You could get even more if you have better gear than I did. But overall, I mean, that's really it, guys. Now, links to everything will be in the description down below. I'm using RuneLight for this entire video. And I'm also using Chrome Remote Desktop almost exclusively for all of my remote accessing. But either way, I hope to see more of you with 99 range. If you did not see the combat video, I highly recommend you go ahead and check it out. Like I said, it's one of my best performing videos of all time, and it's one of my favorite videos at this point. Definitely go ahead and check it out. I'll throw a link up at the end of the video. Otherwise, guys, let me know if there's anything that I missed or that you would do differently. I love you all, and I will see you in the next video.